Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren and I am so excited to finally be starting my channel and doing this video today. I am so happy to take you all along this journey with me. This channel is going to have everything from fashion, beauty, vlogs, hopefully some home decor stuff. I really wanna give you guys all the cute, fun content that you all want, as well as give you some value in that and hopefully give you some inspiration. So to kick off my channel, I am starting today with a summer to fall fashion haul video. I recently did an IGTV over on my Instagram of just of some of my favorite pieces and how I would style them. And so I decided to give you a full length video showing you those pieces as well as a couple others. So I really hope you enjoy and thanks so much for watching. Hello. All right, so let's start with this one is the Topshop Moto Leather Jacket. I've had this jacket for, I think about two years now, um, but it is still in amazing condition. I literally wear this jacket like twice a week. I got it in a size US 8. I love that it comes like with this little belt detailing. It's super cute to style with, really oversized. I got it a couple size bigger than I normally would or that is my normal true size, um, but I did want to have it fit a little bit larger. I tend to like my jackets or my moto jackets to be a bit baggier on me and slightly oversized. So I did go up two sizes in this one. All right, so this was actually not featured in my IGTV video, um, but I did recently post a photo in it. It is from Zara. I got it in a size small. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a dress, if it's supposed to be an oversized shirt, if it's supposed to be a jacket. It comes with this super cute belt as well. I wear it as a dress. I am 5'2", um, so it does fit me a little bit larger. I think if you are a bit taller, I would either recommend sizing up or I would wear it as more of like an oversized shirt or like a jacket. I love the color of it. Again, it's kind of like this nude leather uh, material. I love the cute little button detailing on it. It does kind of have these like cinched in sleeves. Um, so I really love this piece. It's super soft too and really warm actually, which is not surprising for leather, but it has a suede material on the inside. So it is a bit on the warmer side. Okay, so this one is also from Zara. This is like a tweed jacket. Um, it, I got it in a size small. It does fit slightly oversized as well. I really loved it because it has this super fun like frayed edge detailing on it. I love the buttons. I tend to like pieces that I can kind of just throw on, something that's like a little bit more lightweight. Um, especially because it's still 90 degrees here in Southern California and in LA. So um, this is nice for me when it's like slightly chillier at night, but super hot during the day. So something I can just bring with me and throw on. I'm so excited about this one. <laughs> so this is a super cute uh, zebra print sweater it's not necessarily fully long line and it's not um shorter either it kind of hits me at like the right length it is from vera moda i got it in a size small um i actually got it off of asos website um i'm sure you could find it on both on those I'm sure you can find it on both ASOS's app and Vera Moda's website. Um, I'm a big print person. I love the black and white 
obviously print um and so i really love zebra print i think it's super cute for fall um and i love this because it didn't have any sort of collar or anything like that it's not like a true cardigan because it doesn't cinch in at the top it doesn't cinch in on the sleeves um but it is super cozy super warm and can really elevate any like plain outfit or neutral outfit that you want to wear it's more of like a statement piece to throw on so really 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 love this guy highly recommend i'm gonna show you a couple of my favorite sweaters now this one is from naked fashion um i got this one in a size small medium I love, love, love this knit sweater. It's more of like a, literally a true knit. Like I feel like when you look up like knit sweaters, they're knit so tightly that it's not like, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's not like you can like poke your fingers through, if you know what I mean, it doesn't get caught. This one is more of a true knit. It's really chunky. I love these like massive balloon sleeves. Um, they just kind of cinch in. It's like a half sleeve, which I think is super cute for this like transition between summer to fall. Um, so it's not super heavy or cozy. This one is slightly cropped as well. Um, and I got this one because I'm gonna show you the next one that I purchased, which is also from Naked Fashion. Um, and they were right next to each other when I was scrolling through trying to find that sweater. And I saw this one and fell in love with it and loved the way that they styled it online. So I had to get my hands on it. But this is the other sweater that I was talking about from Naked Fashion. It is this really pink um, cable knit sweater. It is fairly fragile, I will say. Um, I love this. I saw it on a couple of my favorite bloggers and I thought about getting it for so long. I never wanted to commit. And then finally, I just kept thinking about it. So I thought I'm gonna do it. Um, I got this one in a size small medium. This one does fit fairly oversized. Um, but it is super cozy, really nice to wear to like the beach to throw over a bathing suit or you can wear it and style it up with a pair of denim and some heels, so super cute. This next sweater is from Verge Girl. Actually, I think the next two sweaters are from Verge Girl. Um, this one is this mint green cropped sweater. It has these really tight sleeves down the bottom and then they kind of balloon out past that. It is very cropped, so it just kind of fits just under my bust. Um, I got it in a size small medium because I did want it more cropped. I am obsessed with Verge Girl. Their pieces are so good. They're so on trend. Their fabric is really amazing. They're really high quality. Um, so definitely check them out if you haven't already. I love this one. It's super cozy. I had actually already worn it a handful of times. Um, and it is probably one of my favorite things, at least transition wise, because I could still be cozy again, but it is so cropped that I'm not just kind of overheating. This sweater is the other one that is from Verge Girl. It is this white ruffled, half open, half shut sweater shirt. Um, I fell in love with it because of these sleeves. They are so cute. They have like this little lettuce sleeve. Um, it, the ruching goes all the way down. It comes with these cute little pearl buttons on it. I do have a fuller bust, so a lot of the times the half open, half shut can be a little bit tricky for me. Um, I do recommend this one if you are wanting one but don't really know what to do and have a fuller bust. Um, this one's really nice. On some occasions with some bras, I do have to kind of pin it a little bit lower just so you don't like see my bra when it rises up when I raise my arms. Um, but there are some bras that I wear where I don't have to do that and you don't see it um, because I do tend to have to wear a bra with every shirt. So this is really a good one. I got this one in a size large, which normally is not my true to size. My true to size is usually a medium. However, when it's kind of this like tighter knit material or even like this half open, I tend to go up a size just so I know my girls are covered. <laughs> 
this last sweater is actually a set. This one is also from Verge Girl. You can sense a pattern of the places that I like to shop. Um, this one is this true white, like oversized sweater with these shorts, these matching shorts that go with it. I liked this one because it was like a lighter knit than most of them. I wanted something that was a little bit more flowy, something that I can wear as separates as well as a set. Um, that's really important to me when I'm buying a set. So I got this one in a size small because it did fit a little bit oversized. It is also sheer as well, um, which I enjoy during this like not really knowing what the weather is season um just because sometimes it is fairly still hot here but not super cold so i like the fact that it is breathable but also still very warm i'm gonna show you just one of my tees that i got i actually have this t-shirt in two separate colors i got it in the white and the black it is just the muscle tank a cropped t-shirt from Nasty Gal. I got it in a size four. It's the one that has the shoulder padding on it. Um, I got it in both the black and the white, and I will say that the white one is fairly sheer, so the only thing that I will recommend when, if you want to go and purchase this, is that the white one, you can kind of see the shoulder padding on it, um, but you can't on the black, and I love this tee. It's such a good staple to have in your closet, just a basic tee, but slightly more elevated. So this top I featured in my IGTV video um, and people were going crazy for this top. I also am going crazy for this top. It is from Motel Rocks. I got it in a size medium, which is my true to size. It has this like super cute open back detailing, um, which I really love. It's long sleeves, it has like a high mock neck, um, which is super cute and probably one of my favorite things during like fall and winter time to wear. It's really thick actually and fairly warm, so I wouldn't necessarily recommend it unless it were like truly cold. There are some that I have, like I have this in a white color from um shop rumors i believe and it is a thinner fabric so there are some that are a little bit thinner if you're looking for a lightweight version they do make one um but this one i did want to be slightly thicker on the material and i love this top i normally pair it with like a pair of trousers you could do jeans it's just so versatile the open back is such a cool trend right now probably one of my favorites Another thing about this top is I, because I do have a fuller bust, the open back tops are really hard for me to wear. This one is not hard at all. I tend to have trouble like not really being able to go without a bra. It takes in at the right spot. Um, it has pieces on the side that you can kind of push up and tighten so it holds them in really nicely. So I don't have to wear this with a bra, which is like my favorite type of top is one that actually <laughs> makes that happen for me. This top is from Princess Polly. I got this one in a size US 4. I actually wore this in one of my photos with some cute little yellow pants. This one too, along with the Motel Rocks one, I don't actually have to wear a bra with. I was very surprised when I tried it out and it actually worked. So for my ladies with the larger breasts, I will say this one is so nice. It does have like this detailing in the middle, which does kind of hit me right in the middle, but it doesn't feel very weird. Super cute top, again, really lightweight really cute with just some big oversized denim, cute with some skirts, with some fun pants like you saw me wear with my yellow ones. So great for a awesome transitional piece. I am going to show you the dresses that I got. This one is this really long pink, 
it's more of like a t-shirt dress um, I believe I got this from shop rumors it has these really cute tie detailing down the side um, which I love this dress really is all the hype I see so many people wearing it in like the tank top version and in the long sleeve version and I like the fact that it is super fitted that it is long sleeve but also fairly lightweight and I'm obsessed with this like pastel pink pale color this next dress is one of my favorite staples period all year round it is just like this silk or satin long maxi dress. I like more of like the tank dresses. It's just a really nice layering piece, super cute to just throw on. Um, it just kind of elevates any look. You can wear it with sneakers, heels, boots, whatever. It's also nice because you can just kind of throw it on and still look really cute. Um, I got this one in a size US 6. This is from ASOS as well. This one is very full length on me. Again, I'm 5'2", so it is pretty long, um, but I really love the fact that it's long. So yeah, a super cute, really awesome staple. I think everybody should just have a black slip in their wardrobe. Okay, lastly, this dress from ASOS as well. I got this in a size small. It's this tied back white cotton dress. Um, it does cinch in like up at the bustier, just so right underneath the bust. Um, and up at the top, I loved this cute little ruffling detailing. It's so lightweight and I actually love the idea of it with like a really big boot um, and you can kind of layer like a jacket over it or a coat, things like that. This was super cute kind of transition because it is still so hot here. So I did want to get some stuff still that were for the warmer weather, but also stuff that I could style with some of my colder things. Next up, I'm going to show you some of my denim. These were one of the pairs that were featured in my IGTV video. Um, they are from Topshop. These are their dad jeans. They are more of like a premium denim. Topshop normally runs small, um, so I tend to size up when buying their denim, especially their premium denim. And this one I got in a size 28, which is two sizes higher than I normally would go. But again, I thought because they're premium denim that it would be slightly oversized, but not too much. Um, they ended up being very oversized on me and very large around the waist, but I still really love it. Um, I still really love these pants. I am in debate about taking them in on the waist or just kind of leaving them. I think they hit at a really awesome length. It's like just below the belly button, but not totally low rise, which I don't really enjoy. Um, so I love these. They're really baggy. They have kind of like a wider leg, more of a straight leg. I really do love these. So these jeans are from Zara. I got them in a size six. Um, and they have this kind of slit on the side of the pant, which I am so obsessed with. I have these in the mid wash blue color as well. Um, and I just loved the white ones. I think I searched for them for weeks because I had to have them. Um, super cute, they fit like a glove. Zara and Topshop jeans are usually the only place that I can go for denim. They're the only ones that really fit me correctly. So I highly recommend them if you have not tried either one of those brands for their denim. And these slits are gonna be such, I mean, they have been such a massive trend, but they're gonna be such a huge trend going into fall to wear with some booties or some heels and I absolutely love white denim. Let's get into some pants. So I realized a couple months ago that all I owned was denim. Like I literally own 30 pairs of denim and I thought why don't I own just pants? Just regular <laughs> pants so i decided i was just gonna go on a spree of pants so i got a handful i'm gonna show you just some of my favorites because again i got so many of them but these are the faux leather pants from 
ASOS. I got them in a size US 6. These are the petite version because I am so small. They are fairly cropped, not like a true pant. They don't go all the way down. Um, I love that they come with this cute belt. They're more high-waisted, and I think leather is such a awesome trend, especially right now going into fall. Leather, for me, is always a staple in my closet, so I'm really surprised that I haven't had a pair of leather pants before, um, but now I do, and I'm so excited. I'm obsessed with these pants. I'm obsessed with the leather trend. I'm probably going to get more. I do recommend anything like this if you're just trying to figure out the trend or see if you really like it. I saw these so for so long and just didn't want to commit to them and then ended up doing it and I'm so happy that I did. So these are probably the most fun pants I have ever had in my life. They are these snake leather-ish pants. They are from Naked Fashion. I got them in a size 34. Um, I'm not entirely sure what their conversion chart is, but the 34 was the true to size for me. They are just so cool. The only thing that I will say about them is that they kind of do that noise, which is interesting for me, but I know will eventually go away when they go through the wash a handful of times. I'm still very obsessed with them. They fit like a glove, and um, so they do run true to sizing on their website. Again, I think a statement pant is so fun. You can just throw on like a basic tee with it and a pair of heels or a pair of sneakers and completely elevate your outfit. These pants are also from Naked Fashion. These are in the size 34 as well. They're more of a trouser. Um, I loved these just because of the color. They are a thicker material, so they are slightly warmer, which I really enjoy. They were very long on me, so I did have to get the bottoms of them taken in. So now they do fit me perfectly. I didn't have to do anything with the waist, but again, because I am so short, I did want them to fit me at a certain length, so I just took them in. But such a good staple to have in a wardrobe, just a true neutral pant. Lastly are these trousers from Nasty Gal and they were actually featured in my IGTV video as well with the Motel Rocks mock neck like open back top and people were freaking out over these pants and that outfit so they are from Nasty Gal. I got them in a size US 2. The thing that I will say about Nasty Gal is their sizings are kind of off for me sometimes so a lot of their like sets and shorts and stuff like that I'm true to size but a lot of these like lightweight material things I do size down in. So they're more of like this greenish blue color. They kind of have like this tapered detailing down the front. These again, just like the Naked Fashion ones were very long on me. So I did have the bottom taken in on these two, but I still really love them. They fit me so perfectly now. I'm obsessed with the color of these. They're really lightweight as well, which I wanted in at least one of my pants um, to kind of go through this transition and also to be able to kind of like layer up on top with. So I'm very happy about these and I hope you guys get your hands on them because I'm obsessed. Let's dive into shoes because this is a whole thing. <laughs> so I, I feel like I should just end up doing a video of all of my shoes um, because I think I have like over 300 pairs of shoes, which is insane. I am obsessed with shoes and it is my addiction of choice is shoe buying. So I am going to start off with my boots. These are my taller boots. They are this black patent like faux croc boot from Nasty Gal. I saw these on their site uh, I think like a year ago they had them like the same time last year and I really wanted them um, but they were sold out in my size so I wasn't able to get 
get them and then they came back around this season and as soon as I saw them I bought them because I missed them so much last year. I believe I got these in a size 6. Nasty Gal sizing is full sizes so I am a true 5.5. Whenever I'm buying like a closed toed shoe from them so like a boot or a sneaker things like that I will size up to a size 6 because I'm able to wear a sock with them when I am buying like sandals or heels stuff like that from them I'll size down to a size 5 because they are full sizes so those other or the smaller size technically would run a little bit larger to fit my true size these are in a size 6 I'm obsessed I wore them in my video with a big oversized flannel I love the idea of this with a little dress on these with some big baggy jeans so super cute I wasn't actually into the whole like western cowgirl boot thing but then I saw these and it completely changed my mind this next tall boot is like literally one of my f I okay I said this the other day well I say this about everything this is my favorite purchase <laughs> but as far as shoes go this is now second to the shoes that I just got the other day but these were my top shoes top favorite shoes that I've purchased this year they are these really tall snake print boots um the heel is more of like a mid heel which i really love and it is a pointed toe i'm obsessed with the snake print and just like the tall booty i uh, again would wear this with like a big dress or some oversized denim but so in love with these so in love with the color I got them from Steve Madden in a size 6, which is my true to size in them. Steve Madden does run small, so I always size up a half size in them. For my shorter booties, I usually always end up buying black boots, um, just because it is such a good, easy staple to have in your closet. I wear them to death. So these boots I got from ASOS. They are just like this chunky black sock booty. I actually posted a photo in them with this tan leather shirt dress. Um, and I love, oh, I'm sorry, they're so disgusting. Um, I loved these. They reminded me, they're like a really good dupe for the Stella McCartney boots that, that she has. I want those boots so bad and I was looking for something sort of like it and then just happened to come across these boots, got them and they really are such a good dupe and genuinely so comfortable. So I highly, highly recommend these. Um, I got these in a size US 6. Again, a black booty. Are we surprised? And these are from Nasty Gal as well. They are faux croc, like black patent boots with this like squared toe, which I'm obsessed with. I believe I got these in a size 6 as well. They are such a good staple. I wore them in the video with um, my Nasty Gal trousers and the Motel Rocks top. I love the idea of like tucking the pant into the boot to kind of make it look more like a jogger, which I think is really cool. Um, so I love these. They're so comfortable. They do fit really well. Um, so I do recommend these. Let's get into some sneakers. So these are from Nasty Gal. They are just a plain chunky sneaker. Um, I got these in a size six as well. I really love the idea of like the chunky sneaker trend, but I just didn't really want to commit to like buying a hundred dollar chunky white sneaker if I didn't truly love how it looked on me again because i'm sure i feel like some of these trends with like the platform shoes can make me look a little bit like oh my god has this been happening this whole time oh that really sucks i can't believe i didn't even notice so i opted to get these instead of spending a ton of money on a chunky white sneaker love the trend now obsessed with these shoes 
I really wear these to death all the time with like some high socks and a dress or even some of my trousers. They're just a really good white staple shoe. I will say most of my sneakers are actually platforms. Um, I have a couple of different pairs of them, but one of my favorites are these black Converse platform high tops. I have the white version and like the low top and wore them so much that I just decided um, I was gonna get these. I'm glad I did. I have some other Converse that I wear that I just wear to work because again, everything gets trashed there. So these I don't, um, but I really love the high tops. I love the platform sneaker and Converse is like been my staple forever. I got these in a size five and a half. Converse do run pretty true to size. Um, some people say that they do run larger. I don't really find that. Um, so I would recommend just buying your true to size because when you do wear them, they will stretch out and give you a little bit of extra room. This first pair is from ASOS. I got these in a size, oh God. I got these in a size four, which is, I think it's European sizing, um, but they should be either a five and a half or a six. Um, I loved like the platform of the shoe. I love the color of the shoe. This like cognac color is so pretty, especially for fall. And I'm obsessed with mules. They're just such an easy throw on. I did wear these in my video as well. Um, I've worn them with this, like some white denim. Um, so just a really cute staple shoe. Why do I keep saying that? I keep saying staple shoe. Really cute, staple shoe. Anyways, get these. On the topic of mules, I'm going to talk about my Nasty Gal mules that I literally wear to death. I have these in the black, obviously, and the white. Um, I love these. They did run, I got them in a size six at first and then realized how their sizing is and ended up buying them both in a size five. Um, I love that they have kind of like this in-between toe so that your foot doesn't fully slide forward. They're just such a nice shoe to just kind of throw on. And they have this squared toe, which I'm obviously obsessed with. I feel like everybody is right now, but just such a good uh, trend at the current moment. These heels are from Naked Fashion. I got these in a size five and a half. And they are like this cognac and dark brown actually color. Um, these like leopard heels, which I thought were so cool. I love the style of the actual heel itself. I think it is so interesting and so fun. I've never really seen a shoe that's like this. I do have like a black and white zebra print heel that has more of like a kitten heel. Um, but I saw these and had to get my hands on them just because I love these colors together. I think they're so pretty. They're super fun. Very excited to style these. Now I want to get into a little bit more of like my true heels. These are kitten heels from Vince Camuto. Um, they are in the size six. Vince Camuto does run true to size. They are this brown and black, more of like a golden brown color, like slightly yellow undertones on it, faux snake print. Um, and I loved these like little straps on it because you can wear it just over the foot like this, or you can wear it as a sling bag, which I think are super cute, just fun shoe to have and a really interesting take on it because you can wear it two different ways. So I do have these and I did actually get them in the black color as well. So these heels are from Nasty Gal. They are these tan strappy heels. I loved the little like toe loops and the three straps around the foot. The heel is slightly larger than the last one. Um, so a little bit higher than a kitten heel, more just like a traditional heel. But I do love these. They're so comfortable. They are so much fun to wear too. An easy throw on, just a true nude shoe. I feel like everybody should have a nude shoe in their closet. Last but not least, are these 
these green heels from Naked Fashion. I saw these and just about died. <laughs> they are a five and a half in women's, of course. Um, they are like this olive green color with this really pointed toe. Um, I've never seen a heel have this pointed of a toe before. I've never even really seen this color and it's also faux croc, which I think is just so awesome. So I'm obsessed with these shoes. I think they're so cool. They have a cute little kitten heel, but also the heel is like slightly inward. So it is more of like an interesting fun shoe. I think it's a really cool pop. I love having statement shoes in my closet and these are definitely one of them. So I would totally, totally get your hands on them if they're still there. Sheesh. That was a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed my summer to fall fashion haul. I think I'm gonna be doing some more of these and I would really love to do just like a traditional fall haul because I got so many goodies that this isn't even everything, which is crazy. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, like, subscribe, thumbs up. I want to put out some more videos very soon. Let me know which was your favorite piece. Let me know what video you would like to see next and I hope you guys have a great day.